Thank you for checking out my Descript Add Music and Audio tutorial where I'm going to be showing you how to add that to the back of your video in case you want to spice it up and make it sound a little bit better. In case you haven't gotten to check out Descript, I will leave that link down below in the description and if you click that, you can actually get free access to it to test it out yourself. Let's begin. So here I am on the left with my transcript, got the video on the right. What I want to do is click on the media button right here. And after doing that, you're going to see there's files, videos, GIFs, images, and audio. I am already here, which is very good. We're also going to have some sound effects. Okay, in case you want to utilize those, I will quickly go through like a whoosh, a city wind, crowd going ah, thunderclap, clapping, strong wind, and so on and so forth. You can obviously search for them as well. That's going to be up to you. But let's pick one of these and then we will go from there. I'm going to go with back to 95 just because I love the 90s and I'm going to drag it in right where I want it, which is the beginning and let go. Give it a few seconds. It's going to download media for import. And then, of course, you're going to see the long blue bar at the bottom once it's fully loaded. There we had it, include in script. So this is going to be the instrumental version. Uh, what I'm going to do is just play a little of it. Keep in mind, whenever I do that, my computer seems to lag with this for some odd reason, which is annoying. So I'm just going to let you know now that this is where you can manage the audio. In case you want to make it louder, go that way. If you want to make it less loud, less loud, quieter, I think that's a better word, right? Uh, you can move it that way. And of course, if you want to loop it, that's going to be completely up to you. But let's play it for a little and see how it sounds. If it's an instrumental, it might not be too loud in the first place. So we can just do this. Uh, let's play. Hey, what's going on? It's James Canzanelli, your studio hero. And in today's video, you can do what I'm going to be doing. Dun, 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 right? So obviously, if you wanted to, you'll probably want to play with that a little because depending on how loud you sound, like if you're speaking, you know, it's going to be different uh, compared to something else where there's no talking. You might want it to be a little bit louder, but obviously you can go back and forth with that when it comes to setting your audio and music. And that's pretty much how you can add it in. Of course, if you want to get rid of it, you can right click on it, delete track. Let's say we're going to media. Let's do the uh, sound effects. I'm just going to utilize this one as an example. And let's play this really quick one here. Do you hear that little pop there? That, anyway, that's pretty good if you want to utilize that for some type of notification or something popping up on the screen. But that should do when it comes to adding the music and audio to the back of your videos, of course. If you have any other questions, feel free to leave a comment down below. I hope this tutorial helped you out. My name is James. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in my next video.